Let's go to France and then check out what's going on with the FIFA Women's World Cup, the Super Falcons of Nigeria. Wow. You can now breathe. What a story. It was about four days' wait, Alfred, and then we started canceling the days out. Argentina and Scotland. Look, we, everybody in Argentina would love you guys. See the singing and dancing. When Argentina came back from three goals to nothing, to level of 3-3 with Scotland, one slot was assured. When Cameroon played New Zealand, I thought maybe with that match it is gone. When it was 1-1, we said, look, it, it, it's all over. But it didn't just happen. Cameroon, with the last kick of the match, scored a winner. Hajara, what a player. She scored that second goal. Cameroon won 2-1. Two, one. Well, Nigerians wanted Nigeria to go, but it's okay if an African team qualifies. Alfred emotions. When Chile failed to beat Thailand the right way, emotions flowed right there in the Super Falcons. Sean, when I saw the video, the video, in fact, FIFA had to... There was a camera there. Camera Not there to, to so, capture that. So moment. they don't miss the emotion. They don't miss the emotion. <laughs> and it started with joy. Joy now came down to the reality that we've qualified. It now got teary eyed. People just uh, broke down. And I mean, it's all in just coming together in, in, a, in a few minutes. That burst of joy. And I who can blame the girls? No, that anxiety no, of waiting. No, waiting no. for like four days. The I South know. Africans that exited this competition. Just after we played that game, have since reached Joe Borg. <laughs> uh, since reached Joe Borg and they were and, welcome, giving the grand them. And say what you want to say. Let's go back to those pictures of them hugging themselves, singing, dancing. It can tell you now that, Alfred, there is a renewed commitment. Mm. Team bonding, team spirit has been achieved. That look, God has given us a second chance. Mm. Against Germany, nobody is giving them a chance now. But with, but with what we've seen, they will just go out now and say, look. Whether Germany wins or, or we win, or, let's just go out there and give our best. And you look at it, that performance against, against France just left people shocked, as in, is this the Super Falcons? Is this the Falcons going toe to toe with the French national you know? team? You know, last week, last weekend we were talking about you no know, support for the girls. We were like, no, they will come back in the first round. And I asked a simple question which is easier, which is better? To say, okay, well done, girls, you can do it. Let's go out there and, you know, give it our very best. And I said something to the fact that if these girls come back, you know, leaving it all on the pitch, even if they lose all their games, it, 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 it's irrelevant for me. For us, is what we want to see is the commitment. What we want to see is that hunger to succeed, that, you know, that drive to say, okay, we want to make the difference. And that's what they've done in this mm. competition. And from here on, what's anything that happens, it's, it's, um, as far as I'm concerned, it's a bonus. They've and... made the statement, I think... The qualification to the next round of this competition is a testament to the volume of work that these girls have done yeah, lately. Yeah. The improvement. Mm -hmm. The only downside is when they come back, to which league will they come to? Where are we going to? Where are we going to play this football? Reality check. What are, what are we going to do to keep these girls at this level? Reality What check. are we going to do to really ensure that we give other good players the opportunity yeah. to raise their game? We will yeah. see them. Raise their game and play, play, play in an organized competition. I know. I want you guys to talk to me tonight as regards the Super Four console. Uh, what do you think? How should they approach that match against Germany? Because everybody will now start saying, oh, Germany, I got the same comments. Come and stand with your team now. When they win, I don't want to hear it's luck. They did nothing. Come and support the Super Four cons now. It's going to be difficult against the German side, but I asked the question at the start of the show, has this German team been as impressive as you know them to be in women's football? Certainly not. So football is changing.